in Oman right now and more specifically in the city of Nizwa. And today, I'm trying to buy myself a goat. This is Nizwa, one of the most historic cities in all of Oman. The Moroccan explorer Ibn Battuta once described the Nizwa of the 14th century as a city at the foot of a mountain, enveloped by orchards and streams, and with fine bazaars and splendid clean mosques. Well, it seems that some things stayed the same over the last 600 years, but today I am here to attend the Friday Goat Auction. This is where the magic happens, this is where the action takes place. The Nizwa Goat Auction is the biggest and most popular of its kind in the country. Nizwa is not the biggest city in Oman, but it certainly attracts a crowd. The vendors, the buyers of course, and there are some tourists here snapping pictures of the entire affair because let's face it, this is pretty intense. This is quite the cultural experience. for 15 Omani Rials, that's about $30. We will try, we will try. You will try? Yeah, we will try. Yeah. 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 Do you think I can haggle? Can I bargain okay. pretty well? Of course. Yeah? Here we go. Yeah, okay, let's go. This entire auction actually reminds me of a beauty pageant because all the vendors walk around the central square showing off their beautiful animals while the potential buyers look out for the most beautiful goat. If you don't know much about goats, this is the place to come and see for yourself how many colors, shapes and sizes they come in. I like to think that I've met many goats on my travels, but these guys were definitely a different sort altogether. So much goat. So when the guys touch the goat on its back or on its belly, that means that they're checking for meat, right? Yes. Checking to see if the goat is nice and tender and lean or if it's got some fat on it. Yeah. If it is not too fat, they will not try to sell it. Oh, too fat? Yeah. So not too fat is not good? Not good. Okay, so it has to be like lean and muscular. Yes. Who knew? Who knew? The criteria of a great looking goat. The sellers walk around and around and around until they finally, hopefully, inshallah, as they say in this part of the world, make a sale. I knew that I needed to try this technique for myself. <laughs> Let's try this one. This one? I guess this is how you do it. Check somewhere here. I'm not really sure what I'm checking for, but this guy looks pretty good. Nice and lean. The buyers at the market clearly had some secret goat vetting techniques that looked way too advanced for me to try. I guess I'll leave it to the experts. How much is that goat? Come, come, come. 118 real. 118 real. That's like 250 dollars. Come, Ali. 120. 120. 120 real. So it's how much? This 13 real. 30 real for a little baby goat like this. So cute. Still not at my price point. 15 real is what I'm looking for. 100 real. 50 reals, 30 reals, still haven't found my goat. 15 reals seems like a bargain and I hope I can find one. Oh, look at this little baby, maybe this one costs 15. I hope this one's my price. So which is the best goat, a man goat or the mixed goat? Um, of course, Oman. Of course, Oman. <laughs> so the Omani goats are the most expensive ones. Okay, the pure Omani goat is what you want to buy from here, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I caught sight of an Omani goat. He is a handsome boy. Look at that. 62 reals for that guy. Boy or girl? Everyone gathered here is on the lookout for an investment. 
an animal that could contribute in some way to the household. Yeah, see, in order to have a, to own a goat, you probably need like a garden. Yeah. You need to feed it every day. I don't have any garden or any farm. Yeah. Not yeah, me neither. <laughs> there is no signal. Hey, I'm just saying there is no signal because there are too many people gathered here. Now we're trying to cross the road. No laughing matter, guys. Organic goat traffic. As the market went on and on for several hours, it barely showed any signs of slowing down. Absolute madness. Absolute madness. 18 reals? Yes. Oh, wow. That is almost 15. I could probably buy that goat. A little baby goat. I'm struggling with it. Should I buy a goat for 18 reals and baby goat? Not yet. Not yet? No. It's too small, yeah? Yes. Needs a mom. I don't know, I'm starting to think I might have to abandon my dreams of buying a goat, but I am going to stick around for the cow auction, because that's when the big guns come out. <laughs> we decided to leave the busy market behind and take a peek at the cows waiting outside. Cows are probably some of my favorite animals. They are just the cutest little thing. So gentle, so graceful, so kind, so friendly. These beautiful big wet noses. I love these guys. This is the section of the parking lot where the cows are waiting their turn. So they, all of these guys are just about to be brought out back into the auction. And we're gonna have a little cow beauty contest going on there, just like the goats. Are the cows much more expensive than the goats? Of course. More, more than, of course. How much is a cow, one cow? Uh, up to 100 years. The idea was the same. Sellers would walk around in circles, showing off the animals they wanted sold. Buyers inspected the cows that they were interested in, but this time the animals were fewer and the prices much higher. Wow. 520 reals for the big guy over there. That is well over a thousand dollars. Safe to say, I'm not gonna be buying a bull or a cow anytime soon. Would you all like that? A mom and a baby will set you back around 350 to 400 reals, and that's around 800 bucks. But if I may say so, this is a pretty good investment because if you buy these two, you got cheese and milk pretty much guaranteed forever. Never have to buy that stuff ever again. I was hoping to see a successful sale, which eventually did come, but it was definitely a bit more rowdy than I had expected. Well, that was pretty intense, huh? I think we all need a little break. After a successful auction, everybody gathers here in this sweet shop to have some halva, some coffee, some dates, relax and enjoy. <laughs> this is the famous Omani halva. To me, it kind of looks like jelly. See the texture? It's very... Mm. Oh, so sticky. It's delicious. Super, super sweet. Tastes like dates. You like it? Of course. <laughs> The best, uh, the best one. Yeah? The best one in town? Yes. Or the best one in Oman? No, in this town. But let's not forget about one very important thing. <laughs> Thank you. Coffee in Oman has been definitely some of the best I've ever had anywhere in the world. And that's because it's not too strong. It's actually quite soft and quite smooth. Very, very smooth with undertones of cardamom in every single cup. It's not strong, of course, but I cannot take more than like this. Yeah. I cannot sleep. It's, it's me. Everybody is different. Ah, but for me, this is the ultimate, kind of like a blend between a tea and a coffee. I love it. But 
Gezwa is a lot more than the market and the halva. It's a city flowing with tradition and history. And on our mini tour, Hitam and I stumbled upon a pretty unique local performance. This is a traditional tribal dance performed by the local men here at Nizwa Fort. It takes place pretty often and it's open for tourists to see. And it shows you a side of Omani culture that not many people know about. <laughs> goat and cow auction with no cows or goats but <laughs> let's not despair this has been a truly amazing experience <sighs> these auctions are pretty rough you know it's not something you'd see in, in places like Europe or, or the West but this is part of the local culture and this is how people actually genuinely and really still purchase their livestock and it's really wonderful to see everybody's been super super welcoming and I would recommend that if you find yourself somewhere around Nizwa do come here to the Friday goat auction. This is quite the experience. <laughs> Thanks so much guys for watching this vlog and I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.